What's going on everybody, Kwaku here, back with another video. Today, I wanted to take a look at two builds instead of just one, not just the latest build, which is 22468, but I wanted to also look at 22463 of Windows 11 in the dev channel because the last build that came out, which was 463, uh, fixed the centering of your taskbar icons. So basically right here is the icons on the taskbar that I have. And uh, before they were kind of shifted over to the right a little bit, uh, and now they are fixed. They're recentered again as of the last build. Uh, they fixed some other bugs and issues there. So if I go down here, you can see it says system now shows up again as an option when right clicking the start button. And then now accessibility also shows um, as accessibility instead of ease of use and things like that. So that works there. And you see it right there. Windows ease of use folder in starts all applications list now simply called accessibility so that's there now and then also they added a feature as of last build uh, to focus assist settings so basically it allows you now to automatically enable focus assist after the first hour of a windows feature update takes place so i'm not sure the reason for that perhaps it's so that way if there's some new things coming for it it'll just not bother you and bombard you with information saying hey this is new and hey this is new so that's essentially in a nutshell uh, what they fixed in this build. Now let's go over to the 468, which is the current build that released today. Now the current build that released today, uh, they said if you're an MDM enrolled PC, basically uh, Microsoft device management enrolled PC, basically your basically is your PC is part of a business um, and you're testing the insider preview program, uh, MDM didn't get the last update 463 but they are receiving this one because apparently they have fixed the bug that allows them to update to uh, the latest builds of windows another thing real quick going back to the last build 463 now that i'm seeing it um they're announcing also that power toys is not really part of the insider program but microsoft power toys is now available in the microsoft store so you don't have to go through like github and stuff to find it but as of this build and technically as of yesterday of recording this uh, it says that here we have a redesigned Microsoft Paint app, which I'll look at in a separate video um, more in depth. But you can now, insiders now have access to the redesigned Microsoft Paint for all insiders in the dev channel. Now, another thing here it says for fixes, it says mitigated a rare explorer.exe initialization hang uh, related to loading the network icon. I haven't had issues with that. Um, and then changes and improvements, that's one that you always want to see is when you click a VPN, in a VPN settings, you now see some stats about your connection, which is pretty nice. So you can see what's going on with your VPN. Um, and then another thing here for changes and improvements, it says added an option to turn off recent searches when hovering the search icon in the taskbar. The option is under taskbar behaviors in taskbar settings. So they're just kind of streamlining things out a little bit more. Another thing that they wanted to announce in just about every build that's come out like in the past month or so is that uh, the builds in the dev channel, the reason why their version numbers are far different or far higher than those of the beta channel is because the beta channel is getting basically tweaks just before uh, release of Windows 11. Basically those beta channel builds are what's coming to launch at Windows 11 next week on Tuesday, whereas those in the dev channel that we're running right now, they could come in the long future and all that stuff. So who knows when those things will come. So in general, there's not too much here. There's stuff about widgets that they know about. There's stuff about start it says here. In some cases, you might be able to enter text. You might be unable to enter text when using search from the start or task where if you experience the issue, press Windows key R to launch the run dialog, then close it. This has been an issue actually for a while now. So I guess there's been something that's been breaking it and they're not exactly sure there. And then it says here, users updating from builds 22,000 point XXX or earlier to newer dev channel builds using the latest dev channel ISO may receive this warning message, basically being that the build you're trying to install is flight signed. To continue installing, enable flight signing. And they say here, if you receive this message, press enable button or reboot the PC and retry the update. So there's some weird things, occurrences coming with it but there are fixes with it so yeah it's a pretty nice it's a pretty decent smooth experience i haven't had any crazy issues with it still um but again just wanted to cover two builds in one since i missed the last build video um and then the last thing like i told you is that 
uh, there'll be a Microsoft Paint showcase uh, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, who knows, as of recording this. But you'll see it within the week, this week. So stay tuned for that. And my name is Kwaku, and I'll catch you guys later. Take care, everybody.